крутые парни по всей стране, кто связан дружбой с ВДВ. Такое братство, надежный щит, никто Россию не победит. ВДВ, с неба привет, ультрамариновый на побережье. Тельник с волной и море погон С небом навеки и десант обручен ВДВ, сколько побед Из парашютов белый букет Радугой мирной порядку пола Слава десанту, честь и хвала В Центральном парке салют в Москве Мечтают парни о ВДВ Любым оружием владеть легко Знамя победы главнее всего ВДВ с неба привет, ультрамариновый на берет, Тельник с волной и море погон, С небом на веки десант обручен. ВДВ, сколько понятий. Hey, what's up, guys? The Vox here again. Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 and the Rise of Nationality mod. Super excited to be back here again with another uh, video. Today we're back in Afghanistan, the years 86 or 87. A VDV company has been out on patrol or mission for the last couple of days. Uh, they're running out of supplies and are heading back to base. But uh, little do they know that hundreds of Mujahideen fighters are about to ambush them on their way back. So that is going to be super, super cool. I don't know why we were paused. Now the trees move in the wind. I, th I thought things looked a little static. But anyway, so this is the second part of the map. We haven't used this part yet, but it's technically the same map as the uh, the previous uh, one we used for the uh, compound clearing, which I really enjoyed. Hopefully you guys did like that battle a lot, because I did spend a lot of time making it. So a lot of uh, work can go into these scenarios. Usually, mostly testing. Testing, testing, testing. Testing is like 80% to make sure that it's movie-like, you know? Um, but um, without further ado, let's go ahead and click start. The uh, VDV company will be arriving down the road here any second now, on their way back. It's a pretty calm day. You hear some fighting in the background. I suppose we're still in the Kost province of eastern Afghanistan. And it looks pretty quiet here. If there were any Mujahideen fighters here, um, they probably did join the uh, fighting back here that we saw previously. So that's a good way to kind of connect the story. Uh, since we... Why are there so many hovering rocks here? What the fuck? There. And then to activate the... Come on, C come on. You know how many times I'm hitting the water, the water, the key combination? <laughs> come on, come on, there we go. I don't know why that's a thing. It's like, yeah, you, you hit the buttons at 480 times and it'll work. That was the official uh, tip that I got from uh, another modder a while back when I had this issue with another mod. He said, spam the buttons and it works. But why would, why would it have to work the fourth or 562nd time? Why can't it just work the first time? I have no idea what's going on. It could be like keys interfering. But anyway, we're back here in our cinematic mode. Um, and, well, we've got the convoy moving up. So one could say that the VDV has been tasked with uh, um, finding more Mujahideen fighters in the area since we took so much heat just uh, searching for that weapons cache. There were hundreds attacking our armored convoy previously, but we were very victorious. Давай. ВДВ. Стрива, привет. Or whatever they say. Striped beret. Or striped shirt with a navy beret or something like that. Yeah. I Don't quote me on that. But that's what I can kind of remember. Convoy's moving down. Oh! Landmine. And as soon as our... Uh, group leader or platoon leader or company leader at the front there dies from that anti-personnel mine The Mujahideen fighters on both sides will be attacking the roughly 80-man large convoy here But you will see some serious VDV skills and firepower being put to action So numbers, I think I'll spoil it now. We're looking at about 80 VDV soldiers versus at least Let me get the calculations right here 50 50 50 50 150 to 200, I was just counting loud. Something like around 200 Mujahideen fighters, if not even more. Um, I'll give you guys the, the right numbers down in the description box below. So you can really tell 
how different units you speech impediment ah, slap on the cheek units uh, prefer or do perform differently um, that really hurt ow ow <laughs> So we're, we're uh, putting the Mujahideen in retreat back here. After being ambushed from two sides. So half of the company is going to split off to the right here. And move up towards the compounds. While the other back part of the convoy is moving left of the road. To combat the insurgents. So I think what they're doing here is... Um, this is a, the best way to, to sort of survive an ambush, is to immediately strike out, to expand your hold. Because if you stay in the middle, you're going to allow the Mujahideen fighters to corner you. And uh, you'll essentially uh, have way less ground and cover to fight on. But by spreading out, they're widening their, uh, their reach. And uh, I think they're going to double time it back to base now. They've beat back the first wave of Mujahideen fighters. They are certain there's more hiding, though, but that they might strike the uh, VDV forces uh, in an, a, a different situation. Uh, right now, they're going to get back on the road. They're going to reorganize and regroup. Organize, 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 and they're going to head back. There's still some fighting going on back up here. There are still Mujahideen fighters surviving, but they're, 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 nah, they're being chased back. So early numbers here is about 150 from each side versus the uh, the 80 uh, VDV fighters in the center. I think it was more like 72 to be exact, to be honest, but I usually round numbers up. Um, now there's less than that. We took uh, two casualties up front. The company commander is dead. We've also lost a few soldiers uh, near the road that were initially targeted. But as soon as the Mujahideen fighters struck the VDV, uh, you know, they, uh, they struck out on both sides pushing the fighters back and now they've really gained ground we've got some squads separate like hit teams with machine guns uh, moving up here to counter but uh, something's not quite right it's a little too quiet the fighters retreated and the vdv is reorganizing into the different uh, groups here one's gonna move up to the compound to hold this area to, to secure this flank while they wait for the rest of the company to move back up from here so they should be on their way the Mujahideen fighters that retreated have regrouped with reinforcements, and they will be attacking the, the Soviets again. I hope I haven't said Russian so far, because of course it's Soviet still. It's important we remember the, the time we're in here. Pretty, pretty big all-out battle for a uh, sort of insurgent conflict, but I do like uh, the amount of numbers. This reminds me of, uh, it doesn't quite remind me of it, but that's a video I'm hoping we can do soon, or a battle that we can do soon, rather. It's Battle uh, for Hill 3234, which was recreated in the movie Ninth Company, where like um, a VDV company or platoon held a hilltop against like hundreds of Mujahideen fighters, and were essentially victorious. I think that is... Truly crazy, crazy stuff. There's even more fighters coming in. So we're probably looking at uh, around 200 already in total, and that's not even it. I have I went under uh, uh, under exaggerated uh, when it came to the uh, numbers early on. There's way more. There's a whole battalion of Mujahideen fighters in the area. So this is later on in the conflict when uh, Mujahideen numbers screw. But it looks like reinforcements have arrived from the base. They must have overheard the firefight. Oh, yes. We've got some armored vehicles coming out here to support the attacked VDV, who should be losing numbers now as we speak. There are just, there's just so many Mujahideen fighters attacking here. Uh, there's no way they could probably last uh, indefinitely on their own. And with them, some GRU Spetsnats base protection as well. Oh, that is so cool. They're coming out there with their kind of irregular uniforms. Looking sick. Some GRU operators. Guru.
cool. BMP2 moving up as well. This is a modified BM2, BMP2 with uh, the uh, AT rocket. That is a 9M113. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. All right, see if we can get back into cinematic mode here without destroying our keyboard. It's not a keyboard malfunction. It is just the game playing games. There we go. What a quick, uh, what a quick swap there. BTR securing this. BMP holding the right side here. Oh, there are, look at the amount of Mujahideen fighters coming in over here, though. They're coming in from our flank. So the territory we've previously left, or perhaps retreated from. They're, like, storming in here. This is turning into such a huge battle. I really do not know where the remains of our VDV forces are. We have some... Uh, there's a VDV... There's two VDV soldiers over here with PKMs. But I think we're starting to take a lot of casualties here. Uh, I see a few survivors down here. It'll be interesting to see how many... VDV uh, paratroopers we have remaining by the end. And I don't think you guys guys can fully grasp the amount of Mujahideen uh, fighters attacking here. Because it's a big map. We're jumping around to get a look at all the action. Um, but it, it, there's a huge amount. The numbers are staggering. And uh, I think they're starting to gain some, uh, some ground on us over here. They're going to be going up against our GRU here. These guys should have some pretty good combat stats. Like, they're very quick to get down as soon as they're hit. But they're not... They're not invincible. Also, something worth mentioning, uh, my previous video passed manual review, which is cool. Um, I, I think it should, because there's nothing uh, particularly uh, special or controversial about the top topic in general. But I had the idea that anything featuring like rebel forces, no matter what their agenda is, or what time they fought in, or, or, or uh, what country they rebelled in, I always had the idea that that's nothing that was technically like... Not allowed, because it's always up there, but I just thought it was sensitive, but uh, I must have been misinformed or, or, or uh, had the wrong idea based on the early adpocalypse that went down last year, about a year from now. The system has changed uh, greatly since. Um, and it did pass, so that's, that's great. I think it's great that we can move into more, like, special topics and more uncontroversial warfare. Uh, no, 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 not uncontroversial. Un... Um, Irregular warfare, more controversial warfare, I suppose, with more like special groups and stuff like that, uh, instead of just uh, you know sticking to the the streamline mainline faction versus faction, nation versus nation kind of thing. You know what I mean? More like special motives and battles that go beyond the uh, the classic World War II setup. The BMPs and BTRs down here are still putting up a lot of fire, but it looks like the Mujahideen fighters here are beating back the GRU, the GRU. So they're going to be moving up. Do we have any rockets? We do have rockets. Well, will they use them? I think they will. They're moving closer. Because I think they... They smell a Spetsnuts somewhere. There he is, but he's down now. The rocket's out. Oh, that one went right over. Dude, these guys have not had efficient RPG training because they shoot terribly. That one went missed again. The BMP has his aim on this guy. Oh, there we go. BMP down. Oh, no. The crew's going to get out. This is turning into a bit of a disaster. But we've got a lot of active fighters here on this side. Even, hopefully, some surviving VDV soldiers. Yeah, I can spot surviving, surviving VDV soldiers. Yeah, there's plenty. There's a squad leader over there as well, I think. Um, contact! 
Dude, they're just m moving through the map now. I'm gonna take... This guy needs... Uh, I'm gonna back this guy up. There's no infantry here. Because they're on hold position, they'd act a little different on free move. But I feel like the most logical thing here to do if I had scripted this properly would be for this thing to just pull back like this. That's cool. But they took a, they took a BMP down. Many missed RPGs, but they finally did it. So many dead fighters here. Can't wait to go through the numbers and casualties afterwards. And it's worked pretty fine, despite the small mishaps in terms of uh, the, the cinematic mode. Which is still showing difficulty and a player color up there in the top left, which I don't really understand. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Oh boy. Yeah, now we're coming around the flank here. This has just been a very, very big all-out battle, constantly shooting and fighting um, throughout the entire battle. And hopefully the audio volume is good. We have a few hovering rocks. I think the mapper here is a uh, fan of copy-pasting assets, which isn't necessarily bad as long as uh, they, they stick to the ground, so to speak. Um, this isn't my map or anything. This is actually originally a Price of Terrorism map which was a mod for Men of War a long time ago, like a modern mod. Super well made, to be honest. Super ambitious. Uh, great for its time. But, and this map was a winter map, and I think it looked a little off. So I converted it af uh, after a couple of hours into a grass map, or a uh, temperate summer map. So this uh, suits the... Uh, Although, of course, there was snow, and there is snow in Afghanistan, of course. I just didn't like the way the map looked. The lowland and snow, no, I just I just didn't like it. Um, anyway. We have about a platoon here coming around the flank. We lost one squad of uh, operators up here by the BMP. And uh, the Mujahideen fighters who did that are still active. So we're probably gonna wrap around and get to it. Or we'll retreat back to, uh, to camp and get out of here. I think uh, we've... Uh, done enough damage but right now it's in a it's an operation of uh it's a search and destroy operation now get every last fighter in the area before we pull out um might as well that's what we're here to do in the first place is to eliminate the insurgent resistance i like the varied uniforms these operators look cool that guy's got a bandana big ass backpack they can be in the field for a long time is that a ppsh it sounded like a very irregular weapon no, it's a 74U, isn't it? Some people have 74Us. Dracos. Because it just sounds different. It's not the PKM. Whoa! Was that a grenade or a rocket? That was super cool nonetheless, whatever it was. Yeah, I think we're gonna call that a... Call that a Dunzo. Maybe we might run into some more fighters on our way. So that's a surviving VDV soldier. And it's been a ruthless ambush, and we've lost more than expected. But we'll see how many we have in the end. Yeah, there's a few fighters over here. They're going to be gunned down. They're not giving up. No one's rushing out of here. We are fighting this battle till the end. So sorry for the low in-game volume in the previous video. It became a much bigger video than I thought. The Death Corps of Krieg. I just wish it had been a little better. I'm going to make more. It's not that it was bad. I think everyone liked it. It's just the in-game volume was a little low. I was actually not tired, but I had to speak like... I had to keep my voice down a little, a little bit because I recorded it so late in the night. Which would explain why I'm waking up at such odd hours. But, uh, that's about it. Look at these guys casually walking back while their fellow operators are opening up. And we have some troops over here clearing this out. This is cool. We've had a nice mixture of uh, soldiers involved. We can make one more video of this war, but then we would feature the Hill 3234 because I think that map is being made. But other than that, I want to move on to the Yugoslav Wars and the uh, Russo-Georgian War in 2008. Five-day war. How cool would that be, right? Alright, guys. Let's mount up and get out of here. We've defeated the uh, enemy resistance. So, well, what are we looking at in terms of casualties? Jesus Christ. So, the yellow RVDV and GRU Spetsnaz. Um, or Gru. I think it's Dev Gru, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's watch this guy just finish this duel. Look. That's a quick reload. And that's some accurate shooting. He's going to finish, wrap up the deal there and move back. So, yeah, we'll get the uh, Soviets in yellow and the uh, Mujahideen in red. 
And now I just haven't been thinking about it. If I've said Russian in the video, I've meant Soviet. That's it's just habit. It, I, I cannot uh, get it out of my head just quite now, but I'm getting better at it. I hope uh, oh, we've even lost a lot of VDV soldiers here trying to defend the compound. It's been a brutal battle. We've lost a lot of soldiers. Let's uh, get our vehicles back. Let's mount up and get out of here. Let's return to base. One of the final battles of the war here, we'll, we'll say. Just absolutely crazy. Probably way crazier than what is realistically uh, pliable, but uh, I'm going to give you the numbers down in the description because I just can't remember in my head. I, I went way, I lowballed it completely and said like 150, 200. Th this is more like 400 in total. And uh, they've been greatly outnumbered. And even one BMP was destroyed, so rip. Got some soldiers checking it out. Thanks for watching. Well, what just happened? Oh, we're driving. Okay, all right. All right. You couldn't go around the corner. You couldn't. Okay, all right. See you guys in the next video. And you have to start shooting at random things. All right, he's, he's going insane. He just, he's been missing out on action. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao. So this is technically part of the same village. There's some distance in between, but yes, we've got more compounds. There we go. Uh, I, I'll, let, I'll let you know. Uh, and I'm just let you know now. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> but it's like a, a part of it. I mean, if... Hey, what's up guys? The Blix here again. Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 and Reich of Na Reich of Nationale. Reich of Reich Reich Reich